my full commute. First crash. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to Rotor Ride, and this is First Flight to Freestyle, where we are gonna take a first time pilot and get them all the way from their first ever flight to doing full on freestyle. And we're gonna be using the DJI FPV drone. This is a new ready to fly option that DJI has come out with. Super excited to have you guys here for episode number two. Today, we're gonna to do something different. We're gonna start taking away some of the training aids and the flight assistance modes to let me actually get some actual real control over this thing because mm -hmm. so far it's been really fun and pretty simple, pretty easy. Yeah, we got you up in normal mode in episode one. You tooled around. We even had your wife go up. Dude, she crushed it. She flew around. I mean, clearly this thing is easy to fly. We're gonna make it a little bit more difficult. We're gonna start uh, giving you more control over the drone. We're gonna get you flying faster. We're gonna turn off obstacle avoidance. We're gonna make you work for it a little bit more and work your way towards full acro manual mode where you can really realize freestyle flight. It is not in sport mode. We'll have you take off in, in normal mode. All right, so now this finger right here, if you click that trigger down one, boom, now you're in sport. See, it's, a, it's a, quite a bit faster, right? It is. Yeah. So just get used to the speed. There's a big difference in the speed oh, between- that's awesome. Yeah, between normal and sport mode. It's, it's quite a bit different. Ooh, can you turn and chase that car? I'm on him. Oh my gosh. Bring her down a bit. Ooh, oh boy. Too much. It's getting squirrely. It's too okay. Much. It's okay. Look at that beautiful chase shot. There you go. So now when you're steering, let me see you do another turn. Something that they did is they pre-coupled yaw and roll together. So I'm seeing good banking here and you're doing a little bit of that manually on the roll stick. Are you feeling pretty comfortable with the speed? Because I'd like to... Yeah, the speed feels fine. Okay, I'd like to turn off that mixing. So I'm gonna reach down one more time. I'm gonna hit this C1 button. What is no this roll angle S. No roll angle. So now when you yaw, look, it's totally flat and you're basically flying backwards, right? Right, right? So you just did a flat spin and your momentum carried you backward a little bit. So now yeah. you gotta use that roll stick. <laughs> So let's see a nice coordinated turn manually. Use both sticks. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. All right, first try. I get some roll in it. So you're still sliding out. Yeah, yeah, use a lot of roll. You know, it's, it's. Do you initiate with roll first? Let me see, what do I do? Kind of roll into it for, oh my God, you're cooking. Woo! <laughs> I feel like I, I'm skidding. It's like it's getting, taking all the energy and Sk skidding out. Yeah, you, I mean, you're, you're sliding through the air because you need to roll more. Just use, at those high speeds, just use a lot of that roll. And just go go to the full, see what happens when you just bang it off the stick end. On your next turn, just use all the roll. All the roll. How was that? Did it feel like That's you skidded better. less? It did feel a little better. I still feel like I'm not quite where I need to be. All these aviator parameter students. That's so cool. Going right for the chase shot. Nice. All right, it's not perfectly centered, but it's pretty close. Right on the line. <laughs> uh, taking the goggles off, it's like, man, it's bright out it here. Bright. <laughs> We're getting you smoothed out. I mean, I think one thing you're still getting used to, the coordinated turns, because we've it turned off all skid. the mixing. Yeah. So you got to use a lot more roll. But so I guess, tell me what you're doing with your sticks, right? What are you doing with your... I feel like I'm lacking enough roll authority. I feel mm -hmm. like maybe, I don't know if it's because it's still in sport mode, it's not released, but I feel like I can go full on the roll and just a little bit of that Y axis and it's like, hmm. that's actually a technical term. Everyone should use that from now on. Just slide your butt to Ugh. the right and Ugh. Yeah, I mean, you do have a limit. So in the normal and sport modes, you're gonna run into like a wall of how smooth you can make it because if you're cooking, if you're at max right. speed, this thing goes fast, it's not gonna let you roll more than maybe yeah, like that. it kind of skids out. And, you know, use as much roll as you can to try and mitigate that, but when we get you up to a full acro mode with the angle limits turned off, when you're going through a turn that fast, you'd probably go almost 90 degrees. Right, and that's what I expect you'd be you like to. a plane. Yeah, you, you have, have to. Turn. See the smile, and like, okay, that sounds We're exciting. We're getting you there. It's, it was really scary, episode one, this idea of being able to take away all these nannies that have been mm -hmm. keeping my drones safer. Uh, I mean, I'm the only person I know of who's dri had a Inspire 2 driven over, but oh, uh, that's been the only damage so far to one of those camera platforms, so. Yeah, I mean, this has all of those things. Like it'll, you can hit a button, it'll come land right at your yeah. feet. The next thing that I want to do to get you used to the sensation of full acro FPV is get you used to the idea that when you're flying an acro, you don't hold the right stick forward. Because that's what you're doing right now, right? right. When you want to fly forward, what do you have to do? 
Well, right now it's right stick forward. It's hard yeah, as I can. Yeah, you have to yeah. like hold it. Yep. And if you center it, it stops itself. Right. Acro drones don't do that. Okay. Right. So that may be part of the problem I had originally. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. I mean that <laughs> that is one of the biggest things to get over. So when you're in an acro mode, there's no self writing. Right. right. So if you add roll, and then you center the roll stick, it'll stop right there. Right. And it'll just keep going that way. If you want to level it back out, you got to add roll in the other direction to bring it back level. So it's more like an airplane. Yeah, mm -hmm. that, that makes sense. So the same thing is true for pitch. This is this profile here. If you pitch forward, because you want to go forward, right? and then you recenter it, it's not going to stop you. Just keep going You're going forward. to keep going forward. If we have more power, we go more speed. Right, exactly. Gotcha. Okay, that makes and, sense. And it's, it's learning that sweet spot, because also, you can keep adding pitch. Oh, now you're upside down. And if you center the stick, it's not gonna, it's not gonna do anything. You gotta bring it back or complete the flip. Right. You know, whatever you wanna do. Can't wait for that episode. We're getting there. <laughs> and there's something that DJI built into this that I think helps you get used to that. And that's called a cruise control mode. Really? And I don't, wanna, I don't want you to fly it too long. We're gonna move through it very fast. Just get you used to the visual, get you past that mental block of having to push it forward. So what cruise control mode does is you get up to a speed, you enable cruise control mode, you center the stick and it'll keep going at that. Interesting. So it, it'll keep flying forward even when the stick centered. And then now you can just steer with the left and right sticks together without also having to hold forward. That sounds cinematic as heck. It's gonna, yeah, it, it can enable some cinematic things and it, I think, really will just get you past the idea of having to hold forward. And I think it'll help with your turns because you're talking about washing out and stuff. Part of the reason you're washing out is you're going through, you're trying to add yaw and roll manually, but you also have to keep holding forward. Right. Because if you don't, then when you finish your turn, you're flat again. Exactly. So in cruise control mode, it's gonna keep flying forward. So you're gonna go, you're gonna add your roll and your yaw, you're gonna turn, and as you come out of that turn, cruise control is gonna keep you going forward. And that's very analogous to how it works in full manual mode. It is still a training wheels mode, but it's getting you used to the feeling. Confidence is everything. Let's go yeah, fly. Yeah, it's about building confidence. That's Let's what it's all about. Fly. So we'll get you up to speed. You'll hit that start button and it'll keep going at that speed. And then now forward and back on the pitch stick will speed you up or slow you down. But if you want to stop it, if you freak out, hit the stop button. Hit the stop button. Or just like before, hit the pause slash return to home button. So you're in there? I'm you're in. You're turning it on and off. All right, so let me see. Yeah, just take your hands off the sticks. One second, finishing that turn. She's flying. Yeah, yeah. so yeah, she'll just keep going forward. Let's see if uh, you can do a nice coordinated turn and you'll come out with a little less wash. I think you need more roll still. That's all she's got. I mean, get it up to some speed. Let's see some serious speed in that cruise right. control mode. So once you're, you can push forward on the pitch to increase your speed, so you can get it into cruise control and then hold forward. Yeah, still those turns washing out. We're gonna have to get you in manual mode soon. Next episode, we're doing it. So the final challenge I want you to, to work on today is we've got our obstacle back. We've got our very advanced freestyle obstacle. Oh my gosh, the, but the, I see there's freestyle obstacles. You can hit them and the thing doesn't blow into a thousand pieces. This one looks a little more sturdy. Yeah, yeah, it's a little, it's real wood. Yeah. Don't crash. Come on. I mean, my wife can do so it, great. right? She did it in normal mode. You're going to do it in sport mode, in cruise control mode. All right. Because I want you to feel what it's like to hit a gap where you're not pushing it through. Because when you hit a gap in acro mode, you've, you've got the drone tilted forward. It's going. And as you're approaching the gap, you're just letting it fly and you're just... You're making subtle corrections on the way through. He says subtle like it's not, easy. You, you gotta be light on the sticks. You gotta be light on the sticks. But when you're in a typical auto level mode and you have to hold forward, you have to like really like push toward the gap. You're holding that stick trying to go forward. But I want you to do it in cruise control mode because I want you going forward and I just want, I want the drone to be going for it. I want you to let it fly through and don't, you don't fight it. You don't know? fight it. You don't have to fight it. It's gonna, if, it, if it's in the center, it, it wants to go through. It wants to. I'm gonna remind you of the story we talked about in the first episode, my first FEV experience, when I ended up upside down, close to 100 miles an hour, and missed a cop car by about six inches before plowing into the side of my building. <laughs> All right, that was the last time I tried to go near an obstacle, so we'll see how this goes. Well, you got your panic switch. I, that is okay. true, I got so, my return to home. And anytime you're scared, you hit that button, and this thing will just, it'll stop. This might be the time. This might be it. <laughs> so you're gonna do that, and then the other thing is I wanna see you orbit this. Okay. I want to see you do a continual coordinated turn 
where you keep the object in the center of the camera and you circle it a couple of times. Going through a gap and an orbit, it's pretty much the extent of the freestyle tricks that you can do in, in sport, sport mode, right? To really start doing more advanced tricks where you're going upside down, split S's, power loops, the Rubik's Cube. I don't know half of what he just said. We'll get you there, <laughs> but those things are gonna require manual mode. So we'll get these two things out. If you can get this, then I think we'll be ready for the next episode where we're gonna turn off that self-leveling and you'll be in control. I gotta say, so I'm only doing this because Rotorite has promised I'm gonna be really, really good someday. You're so gonna be a pro. You're see be a how pro. It goes. You'll, be, you'll be with us surfing mountains and chasing drift cars in no time. I'm gonna start real steady. <laughs> this is gonna be the least climactic. It is windy though, guys. Like this is no joke windy. Yeah, that is something nice. You still, you won't have to fight the wind. It'll still do some of that position hold for you. So just fly the line. It's already coming in at a low height. I like that. And you can, you can, once you've started oh, your I'm going real control, fast. That's okay, you can just pull back on the pitch stick to slow down. Oh, he pulled up, bailed. That's okay. <laughs> it started drifting. I was like, I don't like it. I don't like it, mom. No, I like it. I like that you bailed it. You can all, remember, you can bail with your panic button too. You need to try from the other way. Yeah, I think we'll get a little less wind because I was getting pushed really hard right there. Get in there. Really it's getting low. pushy. You can pull back if you want to go slower. No! Oh! Yes! <laughs> Commitment. I was getting nervous. I was like, I was sure? getting nervous. Are you sure you don't want to go slower? Are you are you sure? Wow. Oh my gosh, that was actually that was a little bit scary. That was right. fast. Cruise control off. Let's bring it down. I gotta orbit this thing, right? So you orbit it. My quads are like twitching like mad right now. Nice coordinated. Nice. Yeah, if you, if you push forward on the stick, you can tighten up the orbit. Oh man, yeah, you're getting real close to it. I don't think I can tighten it up much more than that. Excellent, that was <laughs> excellent. And that looked legit. That looked like a legit mini quad orbit. That Like it feels nice. That looked like a legit freestyle orbit. That was, that was excellent. Going for it again. <gasps> what, did, did you just go through it? Ah! Oh my God, what, what just happened? I went through it. Little sideways action. You orbited <laughs> through it? Oh my gosh. I'm afraid I'm gonna hit my props. Oh boy. Ah! How did I get that smooth? Oh! Oh! <laughs> I full committed. First crash. <laughs> First crash. <laughs> ah! Dude, that was fun. That was excellent. <laughs> that so was really were, scary. Were you like orbiting through I it? I was trying to get the orbit, like that, that second one, I had the speed right, because I've watched you do this. Like yeah. I've seen all the guys on Rotor Ride so do like this for years. So weaving it while you're orbiting. But I wanted to like do like a figure eight, go through and then come back the other way, and I totally failed. That was awesome, <laughs> that was awesome. What's the damage? Is it bad? She's total, she's just, total. Just no. destroyed. I'm just kidding. I think we got one prop maybe. We can bend that back. You know, I'm, I'm guilty of bending props back <laughs> uh, all the time. Yeah. And anyone that's watched my videos has seen me do this, but since we're trying to set a good example, I'm gonna say you shouldn't bend props back. And props are cheap. And props are cheap, so when you bend one like this, we're gonna toss it. That's so simple. Well, especially with how easy it is to change them. I think that with a prop nut, you probably have a stronger prop. You know, I'd be worried about these breaking, but then again, it didn't, we bent it, so. That's just the, the old school OG and me being like, oh, you should have prop nuts. What but, I love about this so far, it's so quiet. It is absurdly quiet. Like compared to an FPV, you know, race quad that I've always seen, this one's not gonna piss off the neighbors. Yeah. Which is, that's there's something to say for that because like in my business, we have giant props and we're always trying to find ways to make it quieter. Mm -hmm. So this is cool. So it, well, it again speaks to how this is kind of a hybrid between how DJI tends to build drones and what we build. So when we put together a drone, it's all about max power before anything else. So it's not efficient, it's loud, but they're, fast so you got that low flight time you got the noise but it cooks they i mean they designed all this to work together the prop and the motor and everything so that you, you get that efficiency that you get with a mavic and it's still pretty quick you know is it as fast yeah. and as nimble as one of ours probably not but i think it's so much more approachable and i think most importantly the longer flight time well gives the you big more thing time for in the me, air. honestly i'm a business owner mm -hmm. and a father and a husband I don't have time to learn how to build quads. Like we, years ago now, it's been three years ago, my kids and I built a bunch of flight test airplanes, right? Yeah. 
I still haven't figured out how to bind them to a radio. Oh man. So like they've been sitting in a closet and about once every six weeks or so, one of the kids go, daddy, can we please find someone to help us? Cause I don't know how to do any of this, but this, I can just press the button and it's, it all works together. Mm -hmm. And that's like, well, honestly, it makes it way more approachable for me. It's approachable. And I think it's, it just gets you doing it because if you had experienced the joy of flight, You'd want to learn to bind it because yeah. you'd know what you're missing. Oh, I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. But like when you haven't tasted it yet, you're like, ah. Oh, you're going to help me bind them? I'll help you bind them. <laughs> That's and awesome. And I think you'll love it. But with this, it just gets you in the air. When you do want to graduate up or something, I think that those hurdles will be more of something that you're willing to deal with because you've experienced like why, like why is right. it worth putting into it? So well, I just freaking went through a table and- Went I, through a table, I you were orbiting, that was crazy. Only damage is a bent prop, that's nuts. Let me see if I can crash it harder next episode. Next episode, you probably will because we are gonna be stepping you up to fly without the self riding to do real freestyle. So stay tuned to that. Hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with this whole series. There'll be a link in the description to this full playlist. Check out Aviator as well. They do paramotoring. They do actual manned aviation, manned FPV in a sense. Paramotors are like flying FPV. It really is. It's the closest thing you can get to just running into the sky and feeling like you're Superman. And I promise we crash a drone in every single episode. Just so you know. So that's why you just came in here and thought you could crash my phone. Okay, <laughs> that explains it. <laughs>